Hi everyone, welcome back to another Fighter Showcase. Today, we'll take it easy and cover one of my favorite silver variants in the game, Inkling. I've talked a little about Inkling in my previous video, but I'd like to actually dedicate a whole video for this variant here. Now let's take a look at her signature ability. Inkling has a fairly simple, yet quite powerful signature ability. She gains an easy 25% bonus damage for each living teammate, which means she effectively deals 50% bonus damage if used as the first fighter. As a silver, Inkling has a pretty respectable attack stat just a bit shy of 10k. Therefore, this 50% bonus damage is actually quite significant as it makes her damage comparable to the higher tier fighters. However, the core reason of why Inkling is quite special lies in her second signature ability that allows her a chance for her special moves to be unblockable. And this is a powerful ability because Peacock is a fighter with tons of projectile special moves. She has all the bombs and all the tools to essentially spam her weapons without remorse. To help with this strategy, we are of course going to choose Special Feature as our preferred marquee ability. Nothing much to say about this choice, I think it's quite obvious. So we're going straight into the moves here. Now there are a couple of choices here which are very very flexible. First of all, I personally think that a BB3 is absolutely necessary as it essentially will guarantee a kill when popped off. Three special moves are usually enough for the spams as you will see later, but a fourth could easily be added here as well. The choices of special moves is really up to you. You definitely want to have Boxcar George and George Day out though. I think these two are very very good. You can run another copy of one of these for the third slot, but other good choices are George at the Air Show and Bang Bang Bang. If you want to use a blockbuster, Argus Agony or Impending Doom are probably the best two here. Honestly though, I think the most important thing is not really the moves, but the stats of these moves. These stats really make or break Inkling as a fighter and I recommend you to choose your moves based on the stats that they have. You definitely want a lot of attack and piercing to maximize your damage as high as possible. And a good third stat is special move cooldown. The more you have this, the faster you can spam your bombs. Of course, you can also have Harlequin as a support in the back instead to help with this. I also have a bit of crit rate and crit damage here which does help, but I think this is completely optional. So it seems like we've covered all the bases here, so I guess it's time for the actual showcase. Enjoy my streaks and fights with using Inkling in the following clips. Obviously not the best, but quite fun. Oh, this final stand is annoying. Whoa, block. Okay, that was dangerous. I just kill this in one go. Oh, I was supposed to show my relic collection, huh? I forgot. Okay, after this fight. I'm trying to get footage for my next video. Oh, please don't kill Inkling. Okay, she's not dead. We taught you? Um, yes you did, but I'm still not confident and I might have already forgotten some of the things. <laughs> Rogue is insane if you know Headless. I know she can do like some unlimited. Like obviously without it, she's not very good. But if she has Headless, I would definitely consider her the best portion. Oh really? Wow. I knew she was good. I didn't know she was that good. And I or I already have her maxed out as well. I just never got to like properly use her. <laughs> I 
I think with the nature of fighting games, like, a new character is just easy content. Not easy content. It's like the most straightforward content for them. Because they, they can export it to their main game and also the mobile game. But yeah, I, I much prefer a new mode than a new character at this point. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm still okay here. I don't want to be whale. Being a whale is a choice. Just just save up your Theonite. Aw, oh, none of them connected. Such a shame. Like, I have 7k Theonite right now that I'm gonna spend all on Umbrella once, once she's released. Yeah, I think Black Dahlia will come first as well. I, I bet they're already working on her. In terms of like concept. And like sketches and stuff. You can save up. Oh god. Wait, this guard break with Inkling is kind of broken, right? Hold up. Well, I think we can just start spamming bombs right away. Oh shoot. That was way too close. Please don't say it's tainted. Okay. She didn't die. what that is I feel like it's a variant name in another language Grim fan, okay. Oh, 
Why is light gold character so hard to get? I know, right? Literally, I'm missing Grimfan, High Ruler, and Bliss and Glamour. Out of all the other golds, those are the golds that I'm missing. Oh, they got an invincibility. Oh, nice. She used a BB. Okay everyone, that is the end of the video. It's a very short and quick gameplay, but hopefully I've shown you how good Inkling can be in prize fights. She is definitely not a variant for Rifts, but she is super fun to play in prize fights and I have a blast playing her. So thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Um, just want to shout out that all these clips are again streamed from my Twitch channel, so feel free to follow me if you'd like to hang out and talk. We're a small net community and I have tons of fun interacting with my chat. Anyway y'all, Umbrella is coming out very soon and I'm super excited for her release. The next few videos I think will be dedicated for Umbrella content, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.